and October marks National Book Month. Our Isabella Galan went to Parthenon Books to learn about why it's important to shop local. Nothing goes better with coffee than books. At least that's what Parthenon Books on South Salina Street believes. The two-year-old cafe and bookstore is the only independently owned bookstore left in downtown Syracuse. General Manager Sarah Perino says that the best way to get customers to keep on coming down is by keeping up with the trends. <laughs> I'm always on TikTok and I'm always seeing what people are reading on there and then it helps me selfishly find things that I want to read, but also like, I'm like, there's chances are people are gonna stumble into this store and they're gonna find a book. With a wide variety of coffee shops on South Salina Street to choose from, what makes them stand out is the culture. And as a Syracuse University graduate herself, she uses her orange ties to her advantage. We do really try to target SU students to like get, get off the hill, come on down, or like not too bad down here. But Syracuse students aren't the only people coming down to enjoy all that Parthenon Books has to offer. Like sometimes it's just like business people walk in just to get a cup of coffee, but then other times they're in, they're grabbing books or grabbing tote bags, and it just makes it a more like, it's a fun environment. However, with the rise of online shopping, less and less people are buying books in person. While ordering books on platforms like Amazon may be cheaper and quicker, it doesn't help anyone. It doesn't help the authors, publishers, and definitely not local bookstores, which is why independently owned bookstores like Parthenon Books encourages readers that if they want to read a popular book like this one, if they don't have it in stores, just be patient and they can order it for you. And just being like, you know what? I can wait a couple days. I don't need that book tomorrow. If you just give me a couple days, I can have any book you want. But it's supporting like people like me and my boss and like it's supporting downtown. So instead of buying books online, shop local and get some Salt City coffee too while you're at it. For Juice and Java, I'm Isabella Galan.